This is all men's shirts. <laughs> and um, when I was making this, this is my first quilt, and I got Grace Earl to uh, uh, work with me on that. She's a very famous quilt maker, no longer with us. And she's the one who told me about putting things on the wall on, on flannel as individual pieces so that what if, if you made this block perfect, that would be fine, right? But if you had, didn't have it all sewed together, then if you decided, oh, you wanted a little touch of red right there, mm -hmm. then you can move them around because you haven't sewn them yet. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can play with little, little things mm -hmm. um, if you haven't sewn the whole thing together. But this was all men's shirts. You see the back part? Mm -hmm. I like the backs. You see the quilt yeah. mm -hmm. And this was a very challenging quilt. Katakali, it was after a trip to India, and I was very inspired by the Katakali. So this got started to go crazy, right? Mm. No, no regularity. It was very, very hard. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was very hard, and I was always sending these, these frantic emails to Joe Cunningham, because uh, I, I mean, it was emotionally difficult figuring out what to do. I, you, you kept getting lost, you know? Mm. With, anyway. With this, what, what is really amazing about this is how the quilting pulls it all together. The design of the quilting mm -hmm. makes mm -hmm. this... It brings it together, that's right. Well, yes, it makes a male it's strong. It's amazing, <laughs> yeah. The, because yeah. this whole thing, it's that swirling, that, that dance... Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you had done the quilting this oh, way, no, or it would have, right. yeah, it's, yeah, it's mm -hmm. just incredible. How it <coughs> is that all hand? Oh yes, that's all my quilts. It's, they're all hand. Yeah, she doesn't use machine. I don't machine. No I, oh, I think yeah. it's ugly. How oh, even the house. Hmm. Wee. <laughs> oh, the back is great too. Wow. And this is kind of crazy too. I think this was before that. And this was the first quilt I did with freehand quilting. I always quilted along all the seams, you know, on all of them. And to, to do, to sew across it, mm -hmm. rather than emphasizing your pieces, defi helping to define your pieces, doing something else, it has nothing to do with uh, the piecing underneath. That was Joe's idea. Mm. It was very hard for me. How did you do that on the quilter? Like you just did it as It was you went? hard, yeah. It was hard. Because you can't see the whole thing. Mm. And you can, oh, let's just, let's just turn this this way. Take this. Oh, wow. So it gives you an idea of, of the, you can see the quilting better oh, on yeah. the backs. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wow. <clears throat> Wonderful. Well, it's fun doing it that way. It's more fun than the other yes. way, actually, because you're you're sort of winging it. And it's a surprise when you turn it over. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you draw the lines first, like in No, no. With Joe's thing, you don't draw lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, yeah. And when he looked at Grandma's quilts for the first time, he, the first thing he looked for was pencils. pencils. <laughs> Did you see any? Yes. <laughs> and he, he expected to see a pencil. This is the last one I have on the bed. I remember the unveiling for this one. And how many quilts have you made now, Mark? Uh, the new one's 28. Mm -hmm. Seven, four times seven. <laughs>